don't listen to critics. And I'm going to tell you why. We are, in today's episode, going to weigh in on this profession that basically focuses on unfavorable opinions towards others. But before we do, I'm going to ask you to please hit the notification bell and the subscription button so that we can spark a group solution together. have been on my mind as of late because I put out music and so I receive a lot of feedback from a lot of different people. I have to tell you, in my earlier days, I probably judged what I thought was good or bad in a very vehement way. My 20s, you know, maybe my 30s, I don't know. But what I've learned is that criticisms are just opinions. Who is the critic? Who are the critics that actually rule your mind because I know that I'm my own worst critic. I know that I can do plenty of damage and think about what is good or bad about anything I do, anything I say, anything I wear, anyone I know. I could go down that route. However, I prefer to go down the route of doing the work, doing my best, dotting my I's and crossing my T's and let the critics criticize. So here at the Groovolution, our recommendation is to ignore the critics. Are they waking up with you? Hope not. Exercise your own judgment. Trust yourself. Work with people whose talents you respect. And if you are doing your best, then the critics' words will not have the weight that you may have given them in times past. So... The moral of today's vlog is don't give more weight to the opinions of strangers than to your own. You are the master of your own ship. I don't know who said this and I'm going to leave you with this quote and it says, what other people think of you is none of your business. And so with that, I'm going to say, keep on, keep on, do your thing, do your best, surround yourself with the support that you need and spark a groovolution.